Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here. Welcome back to testing out the TF2 arsenal. We test out every weapon in TF2 to see what they have to offer. And in this episode, we're using the Cloak and Dagger, which I'll explain more about when we go find a game. Alright, looks like we're headed off to a game of Upward, which is definitely an interesting game to show off this Invis watch. But uh, yeah, pretty simple watch. So a normal Invis watch, you press right click, you walk around with it, it runs out, and you know, that's the end of it. The Cloak and Dagger is the Patient Man's Watch, where what happens is you have 200% recharge rates. You'll notice we're already back to full. Right, if I go run for a little bit, run it out a little bit, and I uncloak, you'll notice we're already pretty much back to full by the time that's over. And uh, you might be wondering, like, what's the downside? That seems like a pretty big upside. The downside is that you have less cloak overall, like by a, a solid amount. It's not even like a listed stat, I don't think, is the weird part. It's not. The listed stats is that you can't get ammo boxes when you're invisible, which is actually notable because it means you can't extend your invisibility forever off of like random ammo boxes around the map by using the stranger. Uh, but it also has 35% less cloak meter gain from ammo boxes, which is fine because it charges so fast that you don't really need to get ammo boxes. But the idea with this thing is to sit still and kind of wait, right? So you run around, you know, you sneak around fully invisible. You wait here a little bit, wait for it to recharge, so it'll recharge while you're staying invisible. It only runs out as you're moving. Uh, that's, that's like its actual main gimmick, which I forgot to mention until now. The idea is you basically use this to sneak around the battlefield completely invisible, you know, patiently make your way around the map, maybe uncloak for a second to get ammo and recloak, right? and, and then kind of patiently make your way around the map, and you know, be in places that no one should really be, just for a few seconds at a time, and eventually make your way so deep into the enemy line that they just like, don't know about you, forget about you, uncloak, you know, go in, get the backstab, and, and live a happy life. And since this is a weapon that can't kill, I'm allowed to do what I just did. Like, it's completely allowed. Okay, let's move a little bit. Right, clearly there would be no spy on this sign. I'm glad the engineer agrees with me on this one. So you see, we have options here. We could stay in, we could go in, we could hope this pirate doesn't get us. We could even move around, kind of check out what's going on over here, see what we can do from here. Uh, or we could go for another stab because it'd be kind of funny. Or we could even make our way around to that guy. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to slowly but surely make my way around to that sniper to show off kind of the intended way that you want to use this weapon. Just get around, you know, get so far around that everyone forgets about you. Uncloak, hope they don't hear it. And make your way up. Boom. And then go back to being invisible, except do it, you know, faster in a way that a sentry can't see you. But that's the idea with the cloak and dagger. It's it's the patient man's watch. You have to have a lot of patience to use it. Because the invis watch, I could just walk. Yeah, I made my way behind that spy pretty easily from where I was at. Like from here to there, I think with the Latranger is actually enough, just barely enough for one cloak. The the downside, I guess, is that depending on how much cloak you have, uh, you might just get forced on cloak. With a cloak and dagger, even if you're on like two cloak and you just decide like let's you know you can see my motion meter in the bottom right. That's my cloak meter. Even if I'm on like two cloak, if I just decide, you know what, I don't feel like going in right now, let's stay invisible. You stay invisible, you let it recharge, you get your recharge, and you go about your day. I mean that that is that's how you use this weapon. It's it's the patient spy's weapon. The idea is to be as, as patient as possible to only strike at the most opportune moment. Yeah. I don't really have anything to say beyond that. Like, like this, that is. Oh, there's an enemy spy. Here. <laughs> Hello, my friend. That's a spy, guys. It's a... Yep, it's me. The demo you are. Yeah, you can move it over here for a second. You're like, oh, you're shooting over here. You can move it over here. You have infinite cloaks, so like. They'll give up eventually. They're gonna forget you there. He's looking around for me still, but I, I haven't even ever went uninvisible. He had zero opportunity to know where I was during that entire exchange. Yeah, let's uh, make our way up here again behind him. Let's we'll see what we can do. We'll even stab the guy that was looking for. Shoot the guy that was looking for us that whole time. Just fuck you, I guess. Like, he just wants to turn around at that moment. What's his problem? What the hell? Something that is notable is when people are walking out of spawn, they can see your outline if you're disguised, even if you're invisible. So you do want to keep that in mind, so if you're invisible next to their spawn, they'll actually know. It's important to recognize. But this guy's trying to goofy load at. They're not like, goofy rollouts, I meant to say. He saw me. He saw me. 
I have two cloak and look at this two cloak I, I can just stay here forever he'll never know he'll never know I mean he'll know he knows I'm still here he's being very cautious every time he messes up he looks around but like a normal spy wouldn't be able to get out like that I just have that ability and I can use it to do what I want which in this case is for whatever reason is sap this teleport just uh, fuck this guy I guess I'm just gonna stand here. Normally, I shoot this thing, but I, I feel like being a jackass today. So if he goes and breaks the sap, where I was gonna go reset it. Yeah. That's uh, they're actually got a lot of progress. I guess we didn't really have that big of a team. By me just standing AFK at spawn, it's basically an eight against ten, which is actually a pretty notable deficit. And even with me there, it's a nine against ten. We're at a deficit. Oh, get away! Oh, I'm dead. The heavy has enough focus fire that he'll shoot you enough to keep you visible. It's the one kind of real possible downside with this. Also, the lesser cloak means that if someone does shoot you when you're invisible, like they're not gonna stop. Like you're you're not gonna have enough cloak to run away from them. You stay invisible. With the invis watch, you can keep running at full speed and get around a corner or something, or you know, get behind something or get somewhere that they wouldn't expect. Uh, so you can actually go back to being invisible. With the cloak and dagger, yeah, you, you either stay invisible or you get found. There's like, there's no in between. It's very rare that you can get spotted and kind of make your way out. Like right here, he, he shot me once. I still have enough cloak maybe because of the stranger maybe. Not maybe. Because of the stranger mainly. Right? It gives me so much extra cloak. A 40% extra of just base cloak. But I'm actually able to get out of that. But most of the time on spy, you're just fucked there. As for why that guy, I guess he was just shooting in my general spawn direction. He shot me. Very unlucky. But yeah, I think I've kind of showed off this weapon. I've showed off the intended use. There's also the funny use where you, you stay permanently invisible and you spam voice lines. So like the enemy knows you're somewhere around there, but they don't know exactly where. And some people you know, get real twisted <laughs> when that shit happens. This is a sick loadout, by the way. Like I, I think the shooting Santa is criminally underrated. But you basically stay invisible like this, and unless you get hit with a beggar's bazooka like that, you can just stay invisible like in the general area of a sniper and something, and just say like, spy around here, like disguise as a sniper, spy, whatever, permanently invisible the whole time. It's a pretty funny little gimmick you can do. Uh, I, that's what I call troll spy, people call troll spy many different things, so there's a lot of ways to do trolling and spy, it's just one of them. Either way, I do think that was a really good showcase for the cloak and dagger, and I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Great rest of your day.